migrant border crossings increased in November after three-month downward trend. The number of migrants taken into U.S. custody along the southern border increased in November after a three-month downward trend driven largely by an uptick in illegal crossings by adults traveling without children, according to government figures released Friday. After reaching levels not seen in two decades over the summer, border apprehensions decreased consecutively in August, September and October. The jump in border apprehensions was also fueled by a record number of arrivals from Nicaragua and Venezuela, which virtually tied Guatemala as the second largest source of migrants in November, surpassing Honduras and El Salvador. Title 42, which the Trump administration instituted in March 2020, permits border agents to expel migrants without allowing them to request asylum. After more than 17,000 Haitians arrived in September, many of them near the small Texas town of Del Rio, U.S. border officials in November recorded 1,000 arrests of nationals from the destitute Caribbean country. The marked decrease in arrivals from Brazil and Ecuador comes after the Mexican government announced visa requirements for citizens from those countries, cutting off a channel migrants used to reach the U.S. border.